Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I have some great news to share with you guys pertaining to the iOS 6, 6.0.1, 6.0.2, and 6.1 untethered jailbreak status. So before I get into the news today, I just wanted to preface by saying that this does build on my other jailbreak update videos, and I've actually created a playlist of all the different news videos. So if you want to access that, just be sure to click on the annotation that should be on the screen now. If you're on the desktop version of YouTube, if you're on the mobile version, just be sure to check down below in the more info of the link to that playlist there and just be sure to watch the most recent ones as you'll be able to understand what's going on a little bit better. However, I'm going to go into depth on most things in this video and break it down for you guys. And I'm going to start off by opening up Safari and I'm going to reference a few articles on my site. Now, over the weekend, I reported on some incredibly exciting untethered jailbreak news. Planet being in Pod 2G, two well-known iOS security experts and hackers who've contributed to the development of numerous utilities revealed that they discovered two new vulnerabilities in a single day. And that's definitely a major accomplishment in such a short amount of time. If you've been a part of the jailbreak community for long enough, you'll know that vulnerabilities typically take much longer to discover. Now today, Planet Being sent out a tweet to his followers revealing that they've made tons of progress in the past few days on the iOS 6 and up untethered jailbreak. Now could he be referring to the release of not only an untethered jailbreak, but also a boot ROM based jailbreak for A5, A5X, A6, and A6X powered devices. Back in November, POSIX Ninja announced his solo effort effort to complete a boot ROM jailbreak for the latest iOS based devices that can upgrade to iOS 6 or higher. Now the last boot ROM jailbreak was created using Geohot's LimeRain exploit, which he discovered in 2010. Now essentially a boot ROM jailbreak means it takes advantage of a hardware vulnerability. So the devices that it supports will be able to be jailbroken immediately after Apple releases a new firmware. All that's required on the developer's part are minor tweaks and updates to the utility. The only way for Apple to really patch a boot ROM exploit is to release new and updated hardware. So consequently, the newer devices right now aren't included in the latest tethered jailbreaks because they all rely on the same now outdated LimeRain exploit. And if Joshua Hill, aka POSIX Ninja, can complete his task and can complete the boot ROM jailbreak for A5, A5X, A6, and A6X based devices, then again, the future of jailbreaking will indeed be very bright as all of the devices that are currently supported by iOS 6 right now will be able to be jailbroken immediately after Apple releases future firmware. Now, whatever Planet Being was alluding to, it certainly caught the attention of numerous influential members of the jailbreaking world, and it will certainly revolutionize the jailbreaking scene. MuscleNerd, the primary iOS hacker and public face of the iPhone dev team, even felt the need to retweet Planet Being's hopeful status update. But unfortunately, additional details are scarce, as most of the progress and accomplishments are kept within the small circle of security experts that contribute to the development of jailbreak solutions. After all, Pod2G announced earlier this month that the iOS 6 and up untethered jailbreak is currently in underground development and that most information is being intentionally withheld from the public. So it seems as if a new jailbreak for all iOS based devices on iOS 6 or higher is on the horizon and will hopefully, if everything goes according to schedule, be released shortly after Apple issues iOS 6.1 to the public. And as just another bit of great news, I want to go over a previous article. According to a recent comment on a Reddit post from Planet Being, he currently has an untethered iOS 6.0.2 jailbreak running on his iPhone 5. Planet Being, a trustworthy and obviously reputable source, has been tirelessly working on the development of the iOS 6 and up untethered jailbreak with Pod 2G and other various hackers on the iOS jailbreaking scene. So all this together means that we're close to seeing an untethered jailbreak for all iOS based devices for iOS 6 through 6.1. Right now, of course, we're just waiting for Apple to release 6.1 to the public. And then hopefully once they do, the security experts will have what they need to complete the jailbreak. They'll be able to update compatibility for 6.1, compile everything, and release a public utility. Of course, just be sure to stay tuned to my YouTube channel and Best Tech Info. I'll keep you guys completely updated on the status of the iOS 6, 6.0.1, 6.0.2, and 6.1 untethered jailbreak. And finally, before we conclude, I just wanted to go over one thing really quick, and that's Project FAL. So Project FAL is an upcoming service that I'm working on in collaboration with Adrian from iPod Uplink and Jailbreak Nation, and it's focused on revolutionizing the way you interact with iOS. So I will include a link to this splash teaser page down below in the more info. I'm not really going to release too many details on it right now, and that's mostly because we're still in the process of developing it. So as of now, we're expected to launch Project FAL by the end of February. However, that could change. Just be sure to follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our newsletter to be notified of any details pertaining to the upcoming service. 
So that's it for this video right now. Of course, I was just going over some of the awesome jailbreak news with you guys. Just be sure to rate this video up if you liked it and leave a comment down below in the comment section, a relevant comment, and you'll be automatically entered to win my $200 Amazon gift card giveaway. Also, to be immediately updated on the status of the untethered jailbreak, just be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and add me in one of your circles inside of Google+. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.